Hi guys, it's Daily Vanity again and welcome back. So today, I don't just have Judith with me, I also have Zoe! Alright, so this is Zoe and this is Julia and I'm Tiara if you're, you know, this is the first video you're watching from Daily Vanity. And today is a very exciting day for all three of us because we are incredibly excited for this palette and we know that you are too. Ooh. So yeah, can you guess? Okay, let's just take a woman. Yeah. What yeah. could it be? What, what could it be? be? Mm. Uh, yes, 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 yes. What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. it is oh, it, yes, you're right. Is it like, <laughs> I feel like very hot. Huh? <laughs> it's the Urban Decay Makeup Kit. What? Alright you guys, so today we are going to swatch and review and have a first impression of the highly raved about and um, you know, people can't wait for it. Cannot wait. Cannot I wait. can't wait to try this. Yeah. And also we're going to create three different looks using this palette. Okay. First of all, what I thought was really interesting about it is the packaging. Mm -hmm. Once you slide open the box that contains the palette, yeah. it's got matchsticks. Um, How cool! Match in there. Talk about heat, you know, like hot yeah. fire. Yeah. So you know, it's really down to the detail, I yep. feel. Mm. Um, as for oh, the yeah, palette the, itself, the palette. okay, I think it's one of the prettiest naked yeah. palettes Yeah, yeah I agree. I think of all the naked palettes, this is my favourite naked palette packaging. Hands down. And, and it's a plastic case, unlike mm. the rest of them, which is a met, uh, metal case. But it still but, but it does, feels does feel substantial. Yeah. Okay, the shades are like super pretty. It's like, you have all the warm. base shades which are uh, lighter and then you go to the warm shades and darker shades and there are also shimmer shades that are very pretty. <laughs> I can't. I think of all the naked palettes so far, mm. this is probably the one that's going to flatter Asian skin tones. Correct. Yes, because of the warm tones. Yeah. This yeah, one looks no. like it's going to be easy to wear. Yeah. Correct. If you like warm eyeshadows, <sighs> like even good for beginners. <laughs> yeah. Because you wouldn't go wrong with like warm shades. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes, and I think the rest are about setting to shimmer shades, which means that almost half of the palette are actually, or more than half of the palette is um it contains matte shades. Alright, so now that we've talked about the packaging and how it looks like on the inside and the shades and everything, it's time for the moment of truth. Okay, so we have not swatched this at all. We have just looked at it, okay? Just stared at it. So today, we're gonna swatch it. So what we're gonna do is, three of us, we're gonna like, um, each pick one shade, mm. and we're gonna swatch it all at the same time. Oh. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, wait, put our fingers here. I would like to swatch more first. Wow. I just swatched it mm -hmm. and the shimmer shade is performed much better than the matte shades mm -hmm. but I think it's good because in that sense where you like when you apply it it's mm. not too pigmented <clears throat> for you to blend it out and you wouldn't make so much of a mistake because you know sometimes mm. when it's too pigmented oh, yes. your whole eyes is like yeah. filled yeah, with going to be very intimidated. Correct. Correct. So I guess in that sense it's great for beginners as well. It feels very packed. The yes. pigment feels very, very packed together. Mm. Oh another thing is that with the shimmer shades, when we swatched it, there was a bit of fallout. <clears throat> so when I think when we mm. applied on the eyes with a brush, you gotta be careful with that. So let's take a look at a swatch of all the colours that we have in the naked heat palette. Uh, see this one. So now is the moment of truth. We're actually gonna apply it on our eyelids. So the three of us are gonna create um hopefully different looks. Let's dive right into the Urban Decay naked heat palette. Oh my god. So Neutral. Yeah, it's quite. The first shade is a bit powdery. Oh, yes, the amount of faults. He devil. He devil. He devil. Yeah, it has a lot of fallout. I'm just. As you can see, I just tapped my brush into the shade Sauced, and there's like quite a fair bit of like kickback. So just be mindful of that. Basically, I'm done already, so I'm just gonna like film what you do. Alright, so we are done, and this is our finished look. Okay, so mine is really, really simple. I went in with a base color, um, Chaser, all over my eyelids. Then, after that, I used Cayenne as the like crease color to make it look more like deeper. 
And then finally, I went in with lumber to in the middle of my eyelids as a highlight. Um. Okay, for me, I think I'm doing my everyday look. So it's like a gradient sort of effect where I go from like shimmer at the front and then um, I build on the colors to a darker shades. So mm, it's my everyday look. I appear in office yeah. usually like she does. Yeah. I just picked up all of all the matte shades and I just buffed it into my crease and I smoked it out uh, on my lower lash line as well. I think it's very it's you. smoky. Mm. Um, not for every day to work, no time, and <laughs> a bit much. But yeah, this is the, the look that I have. Okay, I really like all the colors that I've tried. I thought that the I thought that the shimmer was a bit surprising to me because mm -hmm. it wasn't as shimmery as I thought. It was very subtle, which can be a good thing as well. But if you really want that shing shing look, right, mm. you have to build it up quite a bit. Mm. Um. Not so happy with the fallout, but I think it can be managed if you are just very careful and you know you tap off careful. excess on your brush and all that. It should be fine because the good thing is it, it falls out on the palette, but it doesn't fall out on mm. my face so much. So mm. that's the good part. Okay, the only reason why I want to get it is number one because of the colors that it has. I love the warm shades in mm. here, and I'm I'm generally an Urban Decay fan. Overall, I think I'm a bit maybe I overhyped myself too much, so I'm not really like like drop date for it now that I've tried it but that doesn't mean that I don't like it I do I think it's quite easy to blend yeah. out like even if you make a slight mistake you can still blend it yeah, out correct yeah. I guess probably you know if you are like a huge you're already a huge mm -hmm. eyeshadow junkie like Tiara is yeah. we're not sure whether yeah. this might because be like great for you if you are someone like me you are already a huge beauty junkie with a, you have like yeah. an extensive collection right. you may be able to find um, duplicates shades, or yeah. simulate a uh, simulate no similar, similar shades in your collection <laughs> if mm. you are a collector if you love oh, the brand like course. I do I will, I will I will definitely get this for myself just because just a complete yeah, just collection. to complete my collection yeah. and the thing is I will definitely use it it's not yes. that I won't you know right. and yeah. I feel like every single shade is so pretty yeah, it's not it's like really usually beautiful. when I get palettes there's yeah. always that few shades that I cannot like, wear like, or like it's just meh. meh I don't know what is it there for sure for this palette it's like mm, I would think that actually for a beginner let's say you have you don't really own any mm. eyeshadow 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 <laughs> eyeshadow palette <laughs> Then this might be a good mm -hmm. one for you because it's so wearable, the yeah, colours right. are all really great and flattering on uh, our skin tone. So that's our review and demo on the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to um, like this video and share it with your friends, especially those beauty junkies. And also, um, just leave a comment if you want to see more like first impression mm. review type videos like this. Because we'll be very happy to do it. Yeah, of course. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys in our next video very soon. Bye! Bye. Hey, why you never wait?